Hi everyone, welcome to Ahmed Academy. This video will cover the 3D morphology of the permanent maxillary second premolars. This tooth resembles the first premolars in both form and function, but both cusps are less sharp than those of the maxillary first premolars. They have one root and one canal, but totally not unusual to find them with two roots. They erupt at the age of 10 to 12 years, with their roots being completely formed by the age of 12 to 14. And as always, we'll look into the morphology from all these different angles and the tooth you're looking at right now is the left maxillary second premolar. To begin with looking at the tooth from the buccal and the palatal view the buccal cusp is not as long as that of the first premolar and it appears less pointed. The mesial slope of the buccal cusp is shorter than the distal slope whereas the opposite is true for the first premolar. The buccal ridge is not as prominent when compared to the first premolar. The palatal cusp on this tooth is almost at the same length as the buccal cusp. So if you look at this tooth from the palatal view, you're not able to see much of the buccal cusp. Whereas if you do the same for the first premolar, you are able to see parts of the buccal cusp, meaning the buccal cusp on that tooth is longer than the palatal cusp. Whereas for this tooth, they tend to be the same length. Moving on to the mesial and the distal view, the cusps of the second premolar appear shorter than those of the first premolar with the buccal and the palatal cusps nearly at the same height. No developmental depression is evident on the mesial surface of the crown as we see on the first premolar. However, a shallow developmental groove is present on the surface of a single tapered root giving the appearance of two fused roots. No developmental groove crosses the mesial marginal ridge as it does in the first premolar. We did speak about uh, this being a key factor in identifying the first premolar where you have a developmental depression in the mesial side which crosses the mesial marginal ridge on the crown and it continues up the crown towards the root and up the root into the bifurcation. However, in this tooth that is not present and it all looks flat or convex sometimes as well. And looking at the tooth from the occlusal aspect, we can observe that the outline of the crown is more rounded oval than the first premolar. The central developmental groove in this teeth is shorter and more irregular than in the first premolar with tendency towards multiple supplementary grooves. This arrangement gives the occlusal surface a wrinkled appearance. And finally, the platal cusp is almost as wide as the buccal cusp. This brings us to the end of the video so well done if you made it this far and also consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos similar to this on medicine and dentistry and all the sources that made this video possible their links can be found in the description section below.